You look around the country, and I don't need to tell the people in this room this situation. Only 8% of Americans say they have important conversations with their neighbors. The fastest growing political party is unaffiliated. The fastest growing religious movement is unaffiliated. And so these are all proxies for disconnection. And that's what's happening in society. America is really shaken up right now. There's a, a lot of difficult challenges in our nation, and I don't want to be one of the people that just sit around the coffee shop and bitch about them. There are so many different lenses from which we can look at the world and say we must do better. I came to the United States when I was six. I love this place. And I know it's going through really hard times, but I'm not giving up on it. We all have this yearning for good. We all want to serve some transcendent ideal. And that's really what this is about. We've gathered you people here to help think this problem through. Welcome to all of you to Weave the People. Uh, this promises to be three days unlike any three days that any of us have had before in a group. These 250 people are literally experts in community building. So what better group of people to try to tackle this? A weaver is someone who is never kind of content with how things are. They're always looking to make things a little bit better or include a few more people. How I get to be a weaver is by listening and earning trust to build relationship so that people can allow me into their lives. I get to weave people with food, music, and art. I work with youth with mentorship, leadership, and entrepreneurship. I think every person right now is tasked with answering what does it mean for our country to weave, to come together. The way we create communities by empowering youth. I get to weave the LGBTQ people. I've had more than 14,000 to my own home for dinner in the last 13 years. I want to make sure that as we're weaving, we're looking at who isn't in the weaving, who isn't in the picture. The social fabric is a complex combination of relationships that can be complementary and contradictory at the same time. I feel like we're skipping a whole lot of things and going straight to railroading and paving over what's already been done. If this is going to continue, I need to see the folks that we forget up in here. I need to see those who are struggling with AIDS. I need to see, the, I need to see all of those people up in here. Relationships move at the speed of trust, but social change moves at the speed of relationships. I would like us not to sugarcoat and pretend that there aren't some deep systemic issues that still need to be addressed that aren't going to just be handled by saying, well, we differ. I sit in this room right here, right now, and I wonder how many people really get it. I got to go back to Greenville. I'm still black. And so for me, this right here is not just a feel-good moment, although it does feel good in this moment. My reality is I have to go back still being black when I leave here. I think that we, the people, have shown us, showed us that there's lots of challenges. I think I came into it thinking, okay, I'm gonna go back to my community and I'm gonna have like one, two, and three steps to help my community. But now I guess it's reinforcing that before you can make any change in your community, you have to make connections with people. Like as weavers, we have, we still bring major blind spots to our work of weaving. Despite my best intentions, my privilege has an impact on what I do beyond my intentions. How do we make room for connection? How do we create connection between maybe people who don't agree? I think it's very important, not only to be able to tell my story, but to hear the stories of others and to see where other people come from. What I want is for you in this room to say, and I've said it before, I got you. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Thank you. No matter how hard it gets, how much pain is being circulated, we can't give up. Yeah, we're all coming to this work with trauma. That in many ways, that's what inspired us to start this work. You know, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And I'm in a room of 250 tough people. So for the next, I don't know however long we're here, 
Let's start talking, to, let's be a solution network. A lot of us need to do things in our regular lives that weave people. We can all be weavers and we can go back and encourage our kids and our family members and our friends to, to weave. I know there's a lot of work to do and I know there's a lot of pain to deal with, but we got this, we, it's, it's us. It's not you, it's not the Aspen Institute, it's us. We can do this. I hope that you all can feel how important what you do every single day really is. It reaffirms that the work that we are doing, we are on the right track. It just gives us a lot more energy to go back to our communities, knowing that other people are having the same challenges that we are. And so I can't wait to get back to my community and double my efforts.